Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today's video is going to be a venison uh, venison rib stew recipe. Definitely worth the watch. It, these are really good. I used to always throw the ribs away, and now we save them when we can. You're getting you're getting brisket. You're getting rib meat. When we shoot deer, generally we shoot them in the ribs, right? You don't need to think you need to save ribs that have been destroyed, demolished. Process that deer the same day that you killed it. Go ahead, rinse it out really good inside, uh, skin it, and take those ribs off right away. You do not want to let them sit out there for a couple days hanging, um, even in a cooler. Uh, don't get that beard in the, in okay, the soup. Right. It takes it takes a half, it's just a little bit, it's a half tablespoon of beard. A half tablespoon of beard. I don't want to be that guy, but it's Vietnamese. What did I say? Just something something that was, different. Something that was wrong. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait. This is, while we're not Martha Stewart, we do have our sugar pre-measured. That was, that's pretty good Martha Stewart. Pour, pour so, uh, anyway, it's pretty simple. Recipe, five ingredients. And I'm serious, guys, it's delicious. We're just gonna take a video of the actual recipe. We're like quadrupling it, so, but, um, here's the recipe, five ingredients, including the ribs. And so it's salt, sugar, chili garlic sauce, the red stuff, and coconut water. Cook on high in a crock pot for four hours, add an onion and a handful of carrots. Uh, we do that step last because we don't want the onions and carrots to get soggy cooking in the crock pot for four hours. And then so that last hour is with the onions and carrots. And I do want to point out here that Jeremy's recipe, he incorrectly abbreviated tablespoons. It should be TBSP. There you it's go, Robert, Jeremy. Because I corrected him on the Vietnamese part. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. Let's go get our deer ribs prepped. We'll show you how to do that. You butcher the deer, and this is literally just... What it looks like, you can see there's some clotted up blood still, but we're gonna rinse it all off. Um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna chop chop these up into smaller pieces. And basically you just gotta think about these rib bones you want um, to fit in your bowl of soup. So um, I've also got, this is like brisket um, on the chest of the deer. Jeremy, did we trim off like a bunch of this fat or just leave it? Do you remember? Do you want, should we trim fat off on the top? So deer fat in general has like a, and that's the problem I think when people smoke ribs, deer ribs, the, the deer fat has like a taste that kind of sticks to the roof of your mouth and it's just not desirable. So yeah, we're gonna trim some of this fat off. There's still gonna be some of that but there's something about the flavors and the way that this recipe is cooked. You just don't have that and it, and it tastes really good. All right, so we've concluded that um, we're gonna leave stuff like this on there, but we're gonna take off when we have like, you know, just big things of fat right here. You can see all that that he's cut off. He's gonna, gonna cut. Cut as much fat as we can off the top, but not go layers deep because then there's not really much meat or substance left of these deer ribs after that. I'm interested to see. I don't feel like I don't feel like last time we had much of this brisket in the mix. That's gonna be nice. <laughs> Bones flying. I poured my thumb in there, and we're gonna rinse off the um, any any bone particles from the chopping process. Jeremy cocked his tab sideways on his beer. That that way that he knows that it's his beer, right? And I thought it was such a good idea that I cocked the tab on mine sideways as well. So I don't want to forget which one's mine. Now we just need to throw the ribs in here. Let's go. <laughs> This is the official rinse off station. You guys always want to keep it sanitary. Hold 
that's my favorite one right there. Is that your favorite? That's gonna look damn good. Uh, tasty, if I do say so much so. It's been about an hour. We're gonna add our coconut water and we're gonna get this stuff cooking. See those little chunks in there? Oh, so that's from, that's from the coconut water. I used to work at a coconut factory and I used to cut up. You, were, you the, were you the guy that chopped the coconuts? And they said I was too slow. Listen here, you son of a bitch. I've been chopping coconuts for yeah, longer than that, son of a bitch. Even been. The recipe says high in a crock pot for four hours. That means uh, this thing's a little different than a crock pot. So 300. We Googled it. 300 is high on a crock pot, not 420 like you would think. All right, well, it's the next day and I've got leftovers. We cooked it for like several more hours. Everything just fell off the bone. Got a bone, got a bone there. So it's just like, uh, almost like Italian beef consistency now. Explain just for a minute. It's definitely very greasy because you have all that fat that was on the deer ribs. But my, my challenge in the past when cooking venison ribs has been that greasy texture and the flavor from the deer fat. And it kind of gets all sticks to, the, sticks to the roof of your mouth. But in this stew, for some reason, it doesn't, it doesn't do that. And it all kind of comes together and it's just really good. So this is definitely a recipe that is saved in our book. This is the second year in a row that we've done it and it's highly recommended um as something to do with your you know your ribs and to be honest we had ribs and brisket and quite a quite a lot um of great meat that usually unfortunately gets thrown away thanks for watching guys if you have any rib venison rib recipes i would love for you to post them in the comment below because as of right now, this is really the only venison rib recipe that I have personally tried that I liked. Uh, hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe to us if you guys want to follow and keep seeing more hunting, fishing, cooking recipes.